Hello, my name is Elaine Tintoni. I'm the lead online math instructor at ICC. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the list editor on your TI-83 or TI-84 graphing calculator. The list editor is just the way that we get data into the calculator so that we can either do statistical calculations or have the calculator draw statistical plots for us. It's really not hard to use, so let's go ahead and get started. First, let me just show you how to access the list editor. So all you have to do is press the stat button right here, and the stat button will give you this menu. This menu has three parts, the edit submenu, the calc submenu, and the tests. I'll talk to you about the calc part in later videos in the course, but in this video we're just going to concentrate on the edit submenu. So notice that the first option is edit. Let's go ahead and press enter. And here is your list editor. Notice that across the top the lists are labeled L1, L2, L3. And so of course that just stands for list 1, list 2, and list 3. And there are actually six lists here. You can use your right arrow to scroll across and you can access all six lists. Now if your calculator is not brand new, then the last person who used it might have put data into these lists. So the first thing you may need to do is learn how to clear a list. So the way to clear a list is to use the up arrow to go up so that the name of the list is highlighted and then press clear, enter. And you can see that that erased all the data values in that list. So once again, press up arrow so that the name of the list is highlighted and then press clear, enter to empty the list. There also is a shortcut way that you can clear multiple lists at one time. So here I have three lists that all contain old data that I'm ready to get rid of. So the way to clear all three lists at one time is to go back to the stat menu and use option number four, which is clear list. So you can either press the down arrow until you get to option four and then press enter to select it, or you can just go ahead and press the number four and that will automatically select clear list. Now notice that if I just press enter here without telling the calculator which list to clear, it tells me that I've made a mistake. So let me quit that and let's do that again. Let's go stat number four and I need to tell the calculator which lists I want to clear and I want to clear list one, list two, and list three. Now look at the second function of numbers one, two, and three. Do you see the little L1, L2, L3 here? This is how we can refer to lists when we're running calculator commands. So all I need to do is press second one. That tells the calculator that I want to clear list one. Now comma right here second two for list two, and then comma, second three for list three. So now that's going to clear all three lists, and I can enter. And now when I go back to the list editor, you'll see that all three lists have been cleared. Now a common mistake some people make when they're trying to clear a list is that they press the up arrow to get the name selected, but then instead of pressing clear enter, they press delete. And it's a natural thing to do because you're thinking I want to delete all these numbers. But if I press delete, watch what happens. So remember this list is named L1. And when I press delete, it deletes the entire list. It doesn't clear the list, it deletes it. So now where is my L1? Now I cannot access L1 and so if this ever happens to you, or if you have gotten a calculator that does not have an L1 in it, then it's very easy to fix. All you need to do is go stat, choose option number five, which is setup editor, and then press enter. And then what that will do is that will bring back the list that you deleted. And look, it even still has the data in it. So just remember, if you want to just clear the list, but you actually don't want to get rid of it, you're going to press clear, enter. Okay, now let's finally talk about entering and editing data. Entering data is very easy. 
All you have to do is type your number and press enter. Type your number and press enter. And I'm just going to put a few more data values in here for us. Now, of course, you can use the up and down arrows to scroll through the list. If you find one that contains a mistake, for example, this one says 59. Suppose it was supposed to say 57. All you have to do is type over it and it will replace that value. Another thing I want you to notice is that each member of the list has an index number. So this is item number six in list one. Item number six in list one is 64. And if I press the down arrow, item number seven in list one is 20. So a quick way to see how many numbers you've got is to scroll to the bottom of the list, select the last value, and that's how many numbers you have in your list. So right now I have seven numbers in my list. Now, if you've put one in twice or you've put one in that shouldn't be there, all you have to do is select the item you want to remove from the list and press delete. Of course, it disappears. And if there's another number that you need to insert, you can use the insert function. So let's say that we left out the second number of the list and that all of these numbers are right, but there should be a 10 between the 85 and the 63. So I want to create a space. So I'm going to select the number below where I want the space created and then press second, insert, and notice it puts a zero there for me and now I can put in whatever number I want to be part of the list. So you can keep the numbers in order if you need to. Of course, if the order doesn't matter, you can just add the number to the end of the list. In a lot of cases, you may find it convenient to be able to sort the data from smallest to largest, and that's easy to do. So all we need to do is press STAT. This function right here, sort A, stands for sort ascending. That will sort the numbers from smallest to largest, and that's usually what we want to do. But you also can sort descending. So sort D would be from largest to smallest. Sort A is from smallest to largest. Sort D is from largest to smallest. So let's sort list one from smallest to largest. That's going to be ascending. So I will choose sort A. And then notice that the calculator opens a pair of parentheses it's waiting for me to tell it which list I want to sort. So of course my data is in list one. So I'm going to press second one and then enter. And now when you go back to the list editor and look at your numbers, you'll see that they are in order from smallest to largest. Now what happens if you accidentally type a big long list into the wrong list? For example, here I have all my numbers accidentally in L2, but I really wanted them in L1. I don't want to have to type the whole list over again. So what I'm going to do is scroll left so that I can see the list that I want the numbers in. And then I'm going to press up arrow so that the name of the list is selected. And notice down here it says L1 equals, and it's waiting for me to tell it where it can get the values to put in L1. Well, I simply want the L1 values to be the L2 values. So I'm just going to tell the calculator that L1 equals L2. So I'll say second two, and notice now it says L1 equals L2, and when I press enter, look, it's copied all of those numbers over there. And if I wanted to, of course, I could clear list two now just to avoid any further confusion. So that's how to copy data from one list to another list. And there's one last thing I want to show you here. Sometimes when you have a set of numbers, you want to divide them all by the same thing, or you want to add 10 to all of them, or something like that. That is also very easy to do. So suppose that I wanted to divide every number in this list by 30. I don't have to do each of those calculations myself. All I have to do is go to list two and select the name of list two. And now notice it's asking me L2 equals. Well, if I want L2 to be every number from list one divided by 30, then all I need to do is say second L1, 
divided by 30. And then I can press enter and notice it has taken each number from list 1, divided it by 30, and put the answer in list 2. And that's a really handy function to know about. So there's your basic introduction to the list editor. When we get to the sections of the course where we need to use the calculator to draw histograms or box plots or find mean, median, and quartiles for us, or any of the other statistical functions, and there are a bunch of them, I'll talk to you about those functions in the lecture video for that section. So keep an eye out for that. But this is just your basic introduction to the list editor, and I hope that you won't be intimidated by it and that you'll make friends with your calculator because it can be a great tool for you. Good luck in your course.